Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of computing conditional variance. Let's suppose that x and y are jointly distributed on the region x goes between 0 and 1 and y goes between x and square root of x with PDF proportional, with joint PDF proportional, to x squared plus y. Let's find the variance of x given that y is equal to little y. So let's sketch our region. So our region looks like this. Here's the x-axis, here's the y-axis. Here is y equals square root of x, and here's y equals x. And so y goes between x and root x, so we're in this region right over here. And so we need to find the conditional density of x given that y is equal to y. So let's do so. So f of x given that y is equal to little y of x and y, our conditional density function, is going to be equal to f of xy over the integral of f of xy dx. So we need to figure out where x goes in this region. So in this region, x starts over here on this curve, and that curve is y squared, and goes to this second curve, which is y equals x. So x is going to go from y squared up to y. That's our limit of integration. So this top becomes x squared plus y. And now we'll integrate this function with respect to x. I'll get x cubed over 3 plus xy from x goes from y squared to x equals y. And we can simplify this as x squared plus y over, when x is equal to y, we'll get a y cubed over 3 plus y squared. And then we have to subtract off when x is equal to y squared, and so this becomes y to the sixth over 3. And then we'll have a, when x is equal to y over here, we'll have a minus y, or plus y cubed. And so let's simplify this a little bit. So the top becomes x squared plus y over. And now I'll have a y squared. I'll have a minus y to the sixth over 3. And then we'll have a minus y cubed and a plus y cubed over 3. So that's minus 2 thirds y cubed. And we'll multiply top and bottom by 3 to say this is 3x squared plus y divided by 3y squared minus y to the sixth minus 2y cubed. And this is our conditional density function. Conditional density function. So to find the conditional, to find this variance, let's do it. So hence the variance of x given that y is equal to little y is going to be the expected value of x squared given that y is equal to little y minus the expected value of x given that y is equal to little y quantity squared. And so both of these things can be found by using the conditional density function. So this first term over here, that is the second term over here. So the first term, let's call that 1, call this 2. So 1 is going to be equal to, we'll have to integrate x squared given that y is equal to y. So where does x go in this region? In this region, x goes from y squared up to y. And then I'm going to put in an x squared over here. That's the function I'm integrating. And then I plug in the conditional density function. So that's going to be 3x squared plus y over 3y squared minus y to the sixth minus 2y cubed. And then I have a dx over here. That's my first integral.
And then my second integral, number two, is going to be the same form, integral from y squared up to y, of x times this conditional density function. So I'll have a 3x squared plus y over 3y squared minus y to the 6 minus 2y cubed dx. And so if we continue simplifying number 1, what we see that this is going to be equal to, and I'll take 2 and I'll square it. So this will be equal to, I'm going to pull that constant out front, 3y squared minus y to the 6 minus 2y cubed. And then what we'll have here is we'll have a 3x to the 4th. So that's going to be a 3x to the 4th. So I'm going to integrate that and get a 3 fifths x to the 5th. And then we'll have a 1 third x cubed y over 3 from y squared up to y. I can do the same thing over here. I can pull out that 1 over 3y squared minus y to the 6 minus 2y cubed. And then we'll have a what? And then we're going to have a 3x cubed, so that's going to be 3 quarters x to the fourth plus x squared y over 2 from y squared up to y. And so what we'll have over here is we're going to have this prefactor again, 1 over 3y squared minus y to the sixth minus 2y cubed. And then the top limit will give me a 3 fifths y to the sixth, 3 fifths y to the fifth power. Plus, if I plug in a x equals y cubed over here, we'll have a what? So when we plug in x equals y over here, we'll have a y to the fourth. So plus y to the fourth over 3. And when I plug in y squared, all those terms will be negative. So we'll have a negative 3 fifths y to the tenth. 3 fifths y to the 10th. And then when I plug in this over here, I'll, I'll have a y to the 6th times y. That's a y to the 7th, so plus y to the 7th over 3. And so this whole expression over here is expression i. And then over here for expression number 1, that's expression 1. For expression 2, I'll have the same prefactor, 3y squared minus y to the 6th minus 2y cubed. And then when I plug in y, I'm going to get 3 quarters y to the fourth, and then plus a third y to the half, plus one half y to the third power. And I'll subtract off when I plug in the square, so I'm going to get 3 quarters y to the eighth. And then if I plug in x equals y squared, I've got y to the fourth, and times y, it's y to the fifth. So plus y to the fifth over 2. And so this is our expression. Two. And so now the conditional variance is exactly just this expression over here, expression i, and then minus the expression 2 squared. And so this expression minus this expression squared will be the conditional variance of x given that y is equal to little y. So when we're doing these conditional variance problems, the first step is to always find the conditional density function. Once you have the conditional density function, you integrate that against x squared to get the first part of the variance, and you integrate it against x to get the second part of the variance and square the result. Thank you very much.